It's honestly like a blessing in disguise. I want to call it I want to record videos. I'm not uploading videos, working like a PR. Oh, so tired. I feel so suddenly much more confident that I can just take a sick day off. <laughs> that I don't have to go to work. Because like it's a traineeship shit, it's not serious work yet, it's employability training. Which means that I don't have to be there yet. So until I actually am sick guys. It's not a joke. I think tomorrow I'm gonna go. I just was looking for someone to say yeah you don't have to go. Hold my bus. They just passed by, well usually would wait for me and this shit free. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and work. Like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fuck around, I'm gonna work. I'll complete the tasks. But I'm gonna go read. I'm gonna spend my time trying to learn. Obviously, tell my mom that I'm sick. I can't go. I uh, vomited or some shit. Oh, I feel. I honestly feel like I'm about to pass out. I'm holding myself together by a thread. I, you guys don't understand how fucking happy I am. Telling me that I, can, I don't have to come. That I can just not waste my entire day on bullshit. This is the day. Like, tomorrow, I'm, I'm gonna have to come. I have to come anyway. And be like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm still feeling sick, but I'm, I still have to come because um, duty. But yesterday I was really, really, really bad, so I couldn't come. I'm sick for real, motherfucker, man. Usually I'm much more hyper, much more talkative, but this time I'm not. Give me back, bro, guys. I'm so fucking happy <laughs> that I have to go. It's, bro, it's bullshit work. I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's bullshit work. It's like job search, presentation, stuff, analysis, it's all bullshit work. Like I could finish it in a day by myself, all the work, and I could present it in a day all by myself, all the work, I don't care. With the help of GBT, GPT, with the help of other things. I don't fucking cover this shit, man. I just say like, I'm just ill that day, and then tomorrow I'll come. And then, yeah, I'm gonna take this day off. I'm probably gonna go back to sleep, honestly. I'm gonna go back to sleep. And then after that, I'm gonna just go do walk on my computer. I'm gonna name my videos, I'll upload my videos. I have like so many fucking videos, bro. Then I have videos on my main computer as well that I haven't turned on in like days. I haven't turned on my main computer in like a week plus. Because like when I turn on my main computer, I kind of see myself procrastinating, I see myself waste time. I see myself like be lazy. So I don't like myself when I turn on my makeup here. I only do it now for probably video editing and uploading images that I only have one thing. Even though I probably will log into Facebook on my laptop to upload images there. Look at my burst of energy. I got a burst of energy knowing that I don't have to fucking come. Fucking hell man, I'm actually happy that I don't have to come. Man, she's fucking happy. Stupid training shit, bro. It's all bullshit work. She knows it's bullshit work. But it's a probability training. I asked if like, anyone's gonna get sent this work. If it's gonna be recorded and shit. Bro, it's all bullshit. I'm still gonna go tomorrow. Let's be real, bro. But I have this one day in which. <sighs> Sorry for doing that, bro. Give me a bad angle. I have this one day, the divine opportunity in which I don't have to fucking adhere to some stupid rules of employability. But I'm just thinking to myself, when I'm in this office, I'm like, well, I don't get a job. 
Imagine I just do this shit for the rest of my life. I'm working from office to office, this place to that place. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Before you know it, I'm like 30, 40, 50, working in some office. Oh, it's really upstate in this office. But I'm not where I want to be. I'm not fiscally free. This is a divine sign, bro. Honestly, this is a divine sign. I'm going to use this opportunity to read books, to video edit, to, to name my videos, to upload my videos. Bro, talk commentary. I'll probably, I'll, probably, I'll probably record like fucking 20 videos today and then I'll upload all of them I'll reach my 200 video milestone train I'll reach my 200 video milestone and I'll continue to upload no matter what, how I feel I don't care how much I'm gonna fucking upload what I really want, that I want to talk about later in another video, is the friends in high places thing. I remember watching a video of like Luke Belmar, and Luke Belmar was especially, like he's especially affluent, he's rich bro. And I just thought to myself, bro, his lifestyle is so fucking fun. Okay, and obviously he has work, but the work has high ROI. And it pays for the holidays, it pays for the lavish lifestyle, it pays for thing. And having Luke Belmont on my boss with my friend, bro, that's like the biggest dub I could possibly imagine. I want friends in high places completely and utterly. Because if you have friends in high places, bro, especially with friends that are richer than you, what's stopping you from getting as rich as them? Or even richer than them? For some of you, you're surrounded with millionaires all the time. Bro, if you, can, you can get to 100k. You're all like, I'm surrounded by multi millionaires all the time. You can, you can get to 100k. I completely and utterly believe that. I'm gonna show you guys on camera. Obviously, not immediately. <laughs> but I will do it as soon as possible. My cameras. I believe with complete certainty that you can get to 100k. Even yesterday, um, my work employer teacher type thing, she was telling me, I understand why people take a bunch of tax loopholes. Because before, if you're honest, completely honest with taxes, bro, 45% of tax you can have protected to oblivion, you can't get rich that way. And 45 grand, it's for a yearly wage that you can just take it off you. And they're not even using for something good in this country. This country's a shithole. England. Apart from oh, central London, and even in central London, it's kind of a shithole. I thought you'd probably get robbed. <laughs> That's where a lot of, most of the violent crime happens for the rich. Even if you're like in Tottenham Hill, the main, main part of Tottenham Hill, or you're in central London, bro. It's dangerous. It's a shithole. It's not. Nothing's really, really new anymore from the shops. That's that's the own business. It's your business investing. Apart from that, it's nothing really new anymore. Oh, man. man, I can't wait. When I'm when I'm balling, bro. You guys will see. You guys will see when I'm rich as fuck. I'm living that lifestyle. I'm in the Lambo, I'm in the McLaren, I'm in the Rolls Royce. I'm going on private jets, I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'm going first class, I'm going business class. The business class bare minimum, bro. It's called business class something for a reason. B, B is nice. Why did I say it like that? Bare minimum class, motherfucker, man. But I'm treating my mom to dinner, I'm treating my mom to holidays, I'm treating my mom to this. I'm retiring my mom, you guys will see it. I swear to God. I'm gonna keep back home. Bro, I'm so happy. Go. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna pass out. Oh shit. My god, guys.